What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Bree, and welcome to my channel. Now, for today's look, I'm actually going to have to do a voiceover because we are working on the mouth. We're doing a zombie mouth inspired by, of course, Glamagore. You know, y'all know I watch her. I love her. So I'm probably going to recreate a lot of her looks this year. So let's get started. Okay, so you're going to want to eat and drink plenty before doing this look because you won't be able to do it later. Y'all, that's my glass though, by the way. I got it specifically for October. The hands kind of look like the, the hands in the back. It's kind of odd. Anyway, you're going to take some liquid latex, a makeup sponge, an unraveled cotton ball. And it doesn't matter if you have makeup on already because liquid latex is known to stick to anything. Just it doesn't matter. And to make it easier for me, I just put some liquid latex in a dish to make it easier to put it on the makeup sponge. And then you're going to just lightly make like a liquid latex mustache, I guess. <laughs> and you're going to apply the cotton, pieces of cotton right on top of it. Then you're going to take the makeup sponge again with some liquid latex and you're going to kind of try to soak it in liquid latex. You want it to be as wet as possible. And with a palette knife or whatever you have, just try to blend the liquid latex into your skin for a seamless finish. Then I just started tugging it a bit and trying to get the pieces to come down to make a mouth. Then I had to take a brown aqua paint, red aqua paint, and a black aqua paint and to cover the inside of the mouth try to create some depth because I almost forgot that step and I just did the same thing at the bottom with the latex and the cotton then if you realize that your pieces aren't all the way together I, I added some extra pieces and soaked it in then let dry I also had to pick and tug and play with some of the holes him in the mouth too, try to get them to open a bit. Then let that dry. Then once that is completely dry, then it is time to finally paint. You say you're gonna take that same brown aqua paint and you're gonna just lightly dab all over the mouth. I took the brown to make it a bit darker before we put on any kind of foundation or any kind of concealer. Then I took some powder that matches my skin tone and I started to lightly dab it over the mouth where the latex is. Then realized it was an epic fail. So I took my concealer instead and it actually did the job a lot better because the powder took over the latex and made the latex visible. So you're gonna do that especially all over the corners and you make, you're gonna make sure you try to blend it into the skin with a tissue, sponge, whatever you got. Then I took a black aqua paint and I just lightly dusted it over the mouth to try to make it look rusted and old because it's a zombie mouth. <laughs> then I took a red cream paint and did the same thing. And of course, scab blood. If you don't have scab blood, I literally just took some stage blood and some gorilla snot that people put in their hair and I just mixed it together. Oh, and I used, um, I also added a drop of black liquid liner to get the color to look right. And you just apply that anywhere you see fit and you're done. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, make sure you smack that like button and subscribe to this channel with notifications on. I hope you guys all enjoyed this Halloween look. I know I have fun creating it. And I have plenty more to come up. So make sure you stick around. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later.
Uh. Uh. Gross. <laughs>